Hi guys, uh, greetings from the day myself from the Data Water. And on this video session, I am going to explain you a problem on isometric projection. And an example problem is like this a square pyramid of base uh, 40 millimeter and height 70 millimeter rests symmetrically on a cube of edge 50 millimeter, which itself is placed on a cylinder diameter 80 millimeter thickness, uh, yeah, diameter 80 millimeter and thickness 30 millimeter. Draw the isometric projections of the solids if the axis of the three solids are in common line. So according to this, uh, at the bottom we have a uh, cylindrical slab and after which we have a cube. And for the cube we have to place the square pyramid. So now according to the given condition, this is going to be the orthographic projections. Now according to this, we shall conclude the circle as an ellipse of size uh, 80 millimeter first. So for which we will construct a square of 80 millimeter. Now we will construct 80, 30, 80, 150, 80 minus 150 and connect back to the first point or 80 minus 30 is 1 and the same. Then uh, I am going to make this constructional lines for the getting an ellipse by the technique called as 4 arc method and using the arc by center point with 0.5 mm as a thickness. And let me draw one of the arc here out of four arcs, and this is going to be the second arc. And sometimes we will get the arcs in the different uh, sides, or which uh, is uh, like this. So, only thing is we have to repeat it many number of times, and then once again, uh, the third arc I'm going to show you, and the finally, the fourth arc I'm going to get it like this. Yeah. All the four arcs have been uh, of this uh, diameter 80 millimeter thickness has been constructed and uh, the thickness is 30 millimeters so for which using a line command with a chain line and 0 0.3 as a thickness uh, from the center of this ellipse i need to draw a chain line of 30 millimeter and i need to locate these elliptical arcs that is four arcs uh, using a move command and copy on the move it should be moved from the bottom base to the top base of the axis over here and using a line command uh, and a continuous line so let me connect uh, these edges which are going to form the boundary of the cylinder and then uh, the construction lines can be retained otherwise it can be deleted and now whatever the invisible portions are there so let me trim that invisible portions now you can see that we have got the cylindrical slab of 80 millimeter and thickness 30 millimeter above which we have to locate the 50 millimeter square. Now let me show you how to construct the 50 millimeter square cube. So to construct the 50 millimeter cube, so let me go with the 50, 30, then 50, 150, 50 minus 150 and get back to the first portion and then from the center, we need to get the axis of uh, 50 millimeter. This is going to be the height of the cube because in case of the cube, every edges is equally positioned. So now using the move command, let me position this uh, square base at the top also so that it is going to form a cube. And then using a line command, let me connect the required edges which are visible like this. And then the visible edges can be deleted and let me select the cube then make use of a move command uh, the end point of this axis line whatever we have it should be selected and then it should be positioned uh, on the end point of the axis of the cylindrical slab like this now one can see that the cube is being positioned properly on the cylindrical slab at the center and then we have to construct the square pyramid of base side 40 millimeter and height 70 millimeter. So now one can select the square what we have created. Uh, using the same square with respect to the scale factor, we can reduce the scale factor and uh, switch on the copy of scale because I wanted a duplicate copy. So now the size of the cube was 50 millimeter and the square base is 40 millimeter. So 40 by 50 is supposed to be the scale factor. Then we will locate the starting point over here and then we know that the height of the solid is 70 millimeters. So from here I need to draw a 70 millimeter height line 
and then I am using a continuous line from the apex or a vertex position I need to join all the slant edges which are going to be the visible and after which I am using the trim command what are the invisible lines it can be trimmed off otherwise it can be retained as a thin lines if it is required and then uh, make use of a zoom command trim these portions now one can see that the isometric figure the isometric uh, view or isometric drawing is completed as per the given conditions now selecting this figure I will go on to change this to isometric scale with respect to isometric scale factor 0 0.8164 now one can say that the given problem is converted to isometric projections now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and please kindly like this video and share to my youtube channel and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please press the bell icon if you are interested to get the furthermore videos to be updated thank you guys